We are diving now into a recent study from the Waterkeeper Alliance. The report shows one river over in Sumter has the highest amount of forever chemicals of any waterway tested across 19 different states. Right now, though, News 19's Shannon Taylor getting tonight's report. It was the worst. Like by oh. far um, to, on total PFAS. It was the most contaminated site out of all, I believe it was 22 um, that was studied. Black sand pit waterkeeper Erin Dunminer expresses her worry for the Pocatalago River after high levels of PFAS contaminations were detected in September of 2022. She believes a major contributing factor is due to wastewater treatment plant in Sumter. It's suspected that one or more of those industrial pretreatment users is probably the source, the larger source of PFAS coming into the system. So if the wastewater treatment plant issues limits for PFAS for their pretreatment users, then that could be a solution for the problem. Manning resident Julian Weinberg, who didn't want to appear on camera, still plans to swim in the water, but will think twice about fishing. I've been fishing in the river for about 30 years, and um, I guess it is a little bit concerning to hear the stuff. We've had some mercury, mercury poison, poison warnings over the years, and I'm not really sure what exactly this is. Although it's still safe to swim at the Pucatalago, studies confirm PFAS absorption through skin is low, but can be dangerous if accidentally ingested from swimming or eating fish from swimming. Dunminer remains optimistic these findings will bring awareness to the issue and encouraging rivergoers to advocate for a solution. Advocating around this issue is where people can find their power. Um, let your local representatives know, let the state representatives know that this is something that you're concerned about, that's important to you, that matters, that you want to feel safe going out to your river in your backyard or at your local landing and catching fish. It should be safe to do. It should be a inherent right that we all have. And Industry should not be put above community safety. Shannon Taylor, News 19, WLTX. Shannon, thank you so much. And coming up next,